Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of my Porter Rich series on Bloxburg. So let's really get straight into it. All I have is this house and this bike and I only have $500 to start with. So all of you guys have seen this house before. It's just the typical default house you first get, but I hope to get a job today. We're gonna head out to the town later to go and see what kind of jobs they have for us. But before we do anything, I think we should get something to eat. I am gonna take the cheapest thing, the garden salad, because this is only $4 to make. All right, so I've made the salad. I'm just gonna have a little bit of it before I go and get dressed. I think I'm gonna wear some sort of suit, but I don't wanna be too fancy, but obviously I don't wanna be too casual either. So I found this suit and I think I'm gonna wear this. I've thrown my hair up in some buns, but I think this should be fine for the job interview. Now I do have a bike. It's a child's bike, so it's gonna be pretty slow, but I'm gonna have to drive this to the town. I've heard it's a newish town and it's still kind of being built, but it's got some job offers for me. So let's go and check it out. Okay guys, we are here at the town and it's really cute actually. It's got these little blue houses. I think these are houses anyway. There's the estate agents. My appointment's not till a little bit later on. So I'm gonna see if there's anything we can do down here. Oh, there's a coffee shop, right? That is handy. Let's go into the coffee shop and see what we can buy in there. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's actually anybody working here. I've just grabbed myself an orange juice, just something quick and easy to drink. I'm gonna sit upstairs while I wait. My interview is in about 10 minutes, so I just wanted to have this little drink before I went and got anything done. So I'm not actually sure what jobs they're gonna have to offer. It's kind of like a job center sort of thing, so I can't wait to get there. Okay, so we've got about five minutes till my interview, and oh my gosh, this house is for sale, wait. I wonder if I could go look inside because obviously at some point I'm gonna to need to move out of the tiny house that I have now. And this town looks like quite a nice place to come and live in. So I might ask if I can go and look in this house. Let's see. Okay, the estate agents is right here. Okay guys, somebody in the estate agents said this house is for sale and they've just given me the keys to go and look around in. They gave me kind of a dirty look, but that's probably because I smell, because I cannot afford to shower. I only have $400, I'm no richy rich. But let's go inside. And oh my God, guys, this is the dream. They said this house is just recently built and it's not completely done yet. So it's still under construction, but look at this entryway. This is such a nice townhouse. It's got this little cute living room and this kitchen area. I am obsessed with this already. I'm just imagining everything I would do to this house. I'd add some tiles behind here. And of course it's a two story house. Well, I'd hope so because this looks like it's gonna be very expensive. And in here, I think, are just the two bedrooms. I'm guessing this is the bathroom. Oh my God, look at this closet that this house has, you guys. I need this house, but I have a very funny feeling that this is gonna be way, way um, above $500 um, because this house looks like somewhat a millionaire would live, not where little old poor me would live. So I think later on, I'm gonna ask how much that house would be just so I get an idea of how expensive the places are around here. But for now, I'm gonna go and make my way to the job center. And oh my gosh, there's all sorts of shops down here. There's a furniture store. Oh, these two are under construction still, but it looks like there's gonna be a restaurant. And here is the job center, right? Oh guys, I'm kind of nervous to go in, but let's just go and see how it goes. Okay, you guys, I've just been called in and here he is. His name is Carlos, apparently, and it's my turn to come in and sit down. Okay, he said, hello, what job are you looking for? Well, I actually haven't prepared anything, guys. I kind of should have thought about that before. But I'm thinking I want a job maybe like, well, we saw the estate agents earlier. Maybe I could work at the estate agent selling houses. I don't want a simple job like working at Pizza Planet or anything like that. Maybe I could even work at the furniture store we saw earlier. Do you know if there's any spaces for employees at any of these places? Okay, so Carlos said, no, I'm afraid the only two jobs we have are, what are they? What are they, Carlos? A janitor and a teacher. Well, those two jobs weren't really what I'm looking for. I definitely don't want to be a janitor because I think that would just be so boring and I don't think it would pay me very much Although I can't be picky as this is my first job. But I suppose a teacher could be fun. We'd be working with a lot of other people and I suppose it would pay more than a janitor. I think I might take up the teacher job, although I'm not qualified, but I'm not gonna tell him that. Um, of course I have a teaching degree, Carlos. I'm extremely experienced and I have been teaching for many years. I definitely haven't walked in here with no work experience whatsoever. So do I have the teacher's job? Yes, I have it. Oh, janitor of the school? I said I wanted to be a teacher, not a janitor at that school. I'm guessing I have to work my way up from janitor, but 
At least I've now got a job. I don't know when it starts. Let's ask, when does my job start, Carlos? Tomorrow. Okay, my job starts tomorrow. So I'm going to leave this job centre now because I'm not going to lie. It kind of smells a bit in here, but I can't believe I've got a job now, even if it is something that I really didn't want to do. Okay, so now that I know I've got a job, I'm going to go back to the estate agents and check how much this house was earlier that we looked at and see how much it would be for me to buy the house or to even rent it. Okay, so I don't know if I have to ring the bell. I'm going to just give it a little ring to let them know I'm here, but I see an employee here. So let's go and ask her if she knows anything about it. So I've just told her and she doesn't know which house I'm talking about. So I'm gonna quickly go and show her. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be too expensive. <laughs> I just spoke way too soon. Oh my gosh, a hundred thousand. I would have thought this would not be that expensive. I know it's a really nice house in a very fancy town, but a hundred thousand seems a bit overpriced to me. How much is it to rent? She said it's 1,000 daily to rent this. That is so much. That, I don't even have a 1,000 in my bank right now, let alone paying 1,000 for a house. How would I eat or do anything like that? Okay, guys, I was getting really stressed out about that house because I really want it. I know I've only seen it once, but it was amazing. So I've come to the school where I'm going to be working tomorrow to come and meet the vice principal, and she's going to explain to me what I have to do for my job. Oh my gosh, this school is quite big. I'm scared I'm gonna get lost in it. Well, probably not, seeing as I'm just the cleaner and not even a real teacher, but this is her office in here. And wow, here she is. Well, let me close the door behind me. I wanna make a good first impression and I'm just gonna sit down here. Her name is Miss Reese's. So she's kind of stolen my name, but that's okay. Um, I don't really know why she's oying me because she's meant to be the polite one. Like, I'm your employee, why are you oying me? But yes, I am the cleaner. So I just asked about my wages and she told me I get $100 a day. Now, I don't think that's very good seeing as on the way in, I met a teacher who told me that she makes 1,000 a day here. Now, 1,000 a day is close to me getting my dream home in town. 100 a day, I'd have to be working every day for 10 days just to afford it for one day. I don't think I can do that. I'm gonna ask, can I have a pay rise? Oh, she said 101. Wow, this woman is mean. And she said, if I take off my horrid suit, I know my suit is horrid, but it's the best I could do. Well, considering I have no other options, I guess I'm gonna have to work for this woman, but I will be talking to your boss whenever I see the principal of this school, I will tell them that the vice principal is horrible. Okay guys, so I was on my way home and I came across Mike's Motors, so I thought I might go in here to see if there's any cars that I could potentially get, because if I can't get my house straight away, then I do need a car if I'm gonna be traveling to the school every day to go and clean. I mean, I was thinking a motorbike could be good, but this car over here is only about 5,000 more than the motorbike, so maybe it'd be worth it to save up for that one. But look at this, oh my gosh, somebody outside has just pulled up with a very nice car. And oh my gosh, it's the vice principal woman from earlier. I'm scared what she's gonna say to me. You guys, she told me I can't afford anything in here. Well, actually I, that is true to be honest, I only have $400, do so I make no money in this video? Well, one day I'm gonna have this 170K car and I'm gonna have her job. I'm gonna be the vice principal of that school. Actually, I'm gonna be the principal and I'm gonna sack her because she is a horrible. I don't even know why she's here. She's probably just come here to annoy me, but what's that in her hand? She's come to give me what? Oh, this cleaning equipment, wow. Well, I suppose I have to take it because that's gonna be my job tomorrow, but she is just horrible to me and now she's running off in her fancy car. Okay guys, I've just arrived home and I'd say today has been semi-successful. We've got ourselves a job, We've got ourselves a goal of that house in town. And if it turns out we're gonna be hanging around in this house for a little while, then maybe we could even renovate this house and make it look a lot nicer. Because right now, as you can see, it's very plain and blue. But I think it could definitely do with a revamp. And oh my gosh, somebody's at my door. Who is this strange man at my door? I wonder what he has to say. You have one day to pay your bills or you are, or I'm what? or I'm evicted. I can't be evicted from this house. I have nowhere else to go. How much is it that I have to pay? It can't be too much. I've not done anything in here. 5K. How could the bills be 5K? What have I done? I made a salad. That's it. I haven't even had a shower today. What am I meant to do with that? Oh, he's, he's just gone. Right. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to start getting some money together tonight because otherwise I will have no house tomorrow. And then how am I meant to keep my job if I don't even have a house to get ready at? I think tomorrow we're gonna have to go to the estate agents and see if they have a small house 
or a flat or anything that we could rent in case we get evicted out of this one which I think it's looking like it's gonna happen we have one day and I don't know how I meant to get 5,000 in one day but we'll have to do all of that in the next episode but we still got the job we've still got hope at getting that house and I'll see everyone in episode two bye